Easter Bank Holiday Monday. So this is Monday the 17th of April 2017. It's coming up to 10 past 9 in the morning. Sunday bus service. However, the trains, as you know, are running almost a full service. Okay, so cut the bus to Caffili, go to Cardiff, try and make it for Saturday. <laughs> it's a nice day, it's a bit cool, but it's a nice day. And there were four rows of onions planted yesterday, red and treated. Well, Cardiff. Central bar, which is sadly up for sale. This will be your two. And it's game on. <coughs> Not the cheapest of the weather spoons, but always a good selection. Central. Um, always do a lot of breakfasts. This is Go Mango by Wild Weather Ales, 5.1% alcohol by volume. Mango Pale Ale. Mm -hmm. Bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Mm, stone. I'm getting the mango. It's a little bit bitter. But mm, it's okay. I'm not sure if it was coming in or going off. I think it was going off, took ages to pull. Perhaps that's the case, but B plus for the moment. So this is the issue I've got way next. I'm only drinking a half at the moment because it's a quarter to twelve. So that means the City Arms, um, Tiny Rebel, um, Gaza's Place, they will be open. I think Gaza's Place. Anyway, um, this is Pale Rider by Kellam Milan. 5.2% alcohol by volume. It says bursting with citrus. Carpet for Mr. Manning. I'm thinking more sharp lemony. In fact, mm, a huge amount of lemon in the finish. B plus. And uh, oh. Just sees chips coming in, thinks. Mm. Guys, listening to the agenda. This is attempt number two. Mm. Oh, see that effect. It is open. Ah, uh, this is better. If only it wasn't underground and it had faster Wi Fi. This is, this is pint of the day. Be aware of pint of the days. One pound seventy a pint. This is on the wobble. Distributed by LWC, who are a beer distributor. <coughs> can't find it on the internet. Can't find it on Untapped. Can I probably add it? One pound seventy a pint. A uh, bit thin. Pleasant. Yeah, pleasant. I'm happy. Of course, I would be even more happy if I rated it B plus, but only just. There you go. Nice flags, Mr. Manning. My favourite lady brewer, Sue Hayward, on Twitter, at Sue the Brew. This is a blackberry stout. 4.2% alcohol by volume. Starts off as a really smoky stout, and then you get the sharpness and fruitiness of the blackberries as a finish. B plus in a bit. 3.25 on the untap scale. Really different. Two drinks in one. An Easter giveaway. At the hot bunker. <coughs> it's good. Thank you, Sue.
Um, Pampermousse. Collab between Sue and Blackjack Brewery. Although I don't think it's as good as the current Royce Brood. But it's still a B. This is a half. And it smells hoppy. And it tastes hoppy, and there's a long, long, and the bit of finishes gets up the top of your mouth. It's a B. And I'm enjoying it. And it's still going on, that's great. You must have a bag of cheese and onion. Yeah, I'm drunk. But I'm having fun. Okay, one plus one. Sort your battery drain is short. Okay, that'll do for me due to the strangeness of the bank holiday transport system we have. Mostly the buses. Queen Anne's Revenge by Hopcraft. Warm the hot bunker. 5.7% alcohol by volume. Caribbean sugar cane. Ooh. Completely different, and I'm all together sure I like it. But it's nice. Yeah, very strange. B plus. Gaza. Needs more hops. <laughs>